in Nebraska City, there's the Missouri River Basin Lewis and Clark Center. I'm Jim Nimitz, uh, Director of Operations here in Nebraska City. And uh, this center is uh, part of the National Park Service uh, series of uh, centers that focuses on the core discovery and the uh, travels that Lewis and Clark had. As our visitors explore the flora and fauna here at the center, we also pride ourselves on the interactive uh, activities that we have, whether it be for adults or for children. One of them we have here is on the Pro, which is a uh, video game you can operate and you can use a chiller to uh, navigate your way down the Missouri River. One of the views of our window that you just saw is the Missouri River and uh, the valley that uh, it flows through. We also have here another hands-on display for children and for adults uh, that talks about the medicines and uh, the health care that they received on their trip. Rudimentary as it may be, uh, it was what they knew at the time. This level of the center primarily works with the, uh, the fish and wildlife that they encountered. Many of these were new to science uh, and uh, they sent several different samples back to Thomas Jefferson so that he was able to uh, look at them and also to satisfy his uh, need for new knowledge. This is our lower level. One of the activities we have here is trying to uh, flood out a prairie dog just like Lewis and Clark did. Trying to get one so they could collect it and then send it back uh, as part of their uh, scientific discoveries. True history buffs of the uh, Lewis and Clark uh, travels really appreciate the uh, scale model of the keel boat that we have here. This particular keel boat uh, model was done by Butch Bobier. We're going to be taking a walk down to the uh, Missouri River Overlook. Uh, there's a deck to give you a great view of the river uh, that Lewis and Clark would have traveled along and uh, as well as the uh, valley. This is our Missouri River deck overlook, and you can see the Missouri River, it's high right now, uh, but it gives you a sense of what uh, Lewis and Clark would have seen uh, 200 years ago. As a matter of fact, we're only a day from when they would have passed here in 1804. They passed 
right past this exact spot uh, between July 18th and July 19th. And so here we are uh, in mid-July, and this is exactly what they would have seen uh, at that time when they came through. Thank you for taking our video tour of our Lewis and Clark Center. Uh, our hours uh, during the summer are from 9 to 6 uh, throughout uh, all seven days. And then our winter hours are from 10 to 4. Check out our website and you'll be able to find uh, more details. We do have an admission fee, 550 for adults, 350 for children. We also have military and senior citizen discounts as well as family discounts.